Good morning. It is Teddy Tuesday. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi, everybody. It's Teddy Tuesday. Let's have a terrific Tuesday. Are you ready? Are you ready? He's ready. Are you ready? All right, let's get moving for this Tuesday. Woo! All right, so it is another Tuesday in May. Are you ready? It is Tuesday, May 12th. 2020. Let's get moving. 12th on a Tuesday. 12 starts with T. Tuesday starts with T. Well, that's going to be a terrific Tuesday. Alrighty. So we have May 12th. And how do we make a 12? It is a 1 and a 2. So we go 1, 2, and that number is 12. So we have May 12th. Oh, it has a diagram at the end. 12th. Good job. May 12th, 2000. 20. We're going to take this date and change it. Flip it, change it, rearrange it to our easy peasy lemon squeezy date. Are you ready? Here we go. We have five. I hear you. I hear you. We have five, 12, 20. I know. It is five, 12, 20 because January, February, March, April, May is five. We steal the 12 and take the 20. Absolutely. So we have May 12, 2020, and it is Tuesday. T -t 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 Tuesday. So we're going to start with a capital T. Absolutely, because it's not just any day. It's a special day. It's Tuesday. So we have Tuesday. T-U-E-S. Twos. And the three letters for day, D-A-Y. Awesome. Tuesday, which means if today is Tuesday, yesterday was Monday. And if yesterday was Monday and today is Tuesday, that means tomorrow will be Wednesday. Absolutely. So that means our song sound like this. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Monday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. Oh, what fun, oh, what fun. Nice job! So we have a blunder here that's mixing up all our letters and they don't know where they're supposed to be. So I wonder what sight word we have today. Hmm. So I have t, t, ew, t, ew, no. Hit toi. Hit toi? No. Toi eh? Toi eh? No. Hmm. I see a TH, which is a th. Let's start with a diagram. Th. Eh? No. Th. Eh? Thwa? No. I hear you saying it! Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea! Start with the W, 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 Awesome. So let's write that word up here. We have W, I, and the diagram, two letters, one sound. Stick that tongue out. Absolutely. Here we go. T, H, diagraph, diagraph. Absolutely. So we have the word, the word is with. Hmm, the word is with. We might have to use that today in our sentence. Let's keep going. So what is a noun? It's any person, any place, any thing, and any animal. Absolutely. So let's put our little things down, our little icons down, our little pictures, ready? So we say, what is a noun? A noun is any person. Any place, anything, remember we do that chair, awesome, or any animal. So we're going to just do this. Anything. That could be any animal with ears and a head. So it's pretty much any animal. All right. So um, let's think. Yo, yes, I can do. I have horses on my shirt. They're nouns. They're animals. Absolutely. Because this week is all about Farms. Yeah, and horses live on a farm. So we have our first one, and it's a carriage. <gasps> that looks like Cinderella's carriage. I love her. She's so cool. 
That's why I'm using blue today. So our carriage, is that a person? Well, a person would ride in a carriage. Is it a place? No, but a carriage would take us to a place. Is it a thing? Yeah, a carriage is a thing. So we're gonna just put a little, a chair, it's a thing. So a carriage is a thing. Oh, I would love to be in a carriage. Oh, that's one of my dreams. Oh, but a dream is just a wish your heart makes. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We have my next one, a castle. Is it a person? You're right, a person can live in a castle. Is it a place? Yes, it is a place because it is someplace you can go to, a castle. Oh, would I love to live in a castle? Oh, it's my dream. I wanna take my carriage and drive it to my castle, absolutely. So my castle is a place, so I'm gonna put my little house there. So let's think of a sentence. Hmm, a sentence that's gonna use carriage and castle. Remember, you can use with. Hmm. Uh, I got it. I hear some good senses from you too. Wow, good job. Okay, here we go. I am riding in my, whoops, carriage. Remember, you're gonna look at your word so you can just take it. Take it. Here we go. C-A-R-R-I-A-G-E. Woo! I am riding in my carriage to my castle. C-A-S-T-L-E. Awesome job. Welcome to the end of your sentence. Period. So I have a capital at the beginning, species between, and, and mark at the end. Absolutely. Okay, so we have, and you know what, I all, the only thing I didn't use was the word with. I could have said, I am riding in my carriage to my castle with, Mr. Firestone, I could have said that. All right, are you ready? So my number today is 29, 29, 29, 29, 29. Pull my little stool over and let's get ready to do our number of our day, 29. Wow, that's almost 29. Let's count to 29 but by once. Are you ready? <sighs> Take a deep breath. <sighs> Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Awesome job. Are you ready? Let's count. Oh, Wally wants to count. Wally. He wants to count. You know what he wants to do? He wants to play with Teddy. Guess who doesn't want to play? Uh-huh. Teddy. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's count by fives. Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Count by ones. 26, 27, 28, 29. Can you count by tens? Okay, here we go. 10, 20. Yep, count by ones. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Awesome. You are amazing. Okay, so we make our 29. A two and a nine. A two and a nine. That's 29. Oop, I need another color. A two and a nine. A two and a nine. Twenty-nine. Awesome. Twenty-nine. So if I was taking twenty-nine and I was gonna fill up my what kind of frames? Ten frames. Absolutely, because how many boxes are in my ten frames? Ten. You don't have to count, you just know it. Ten. 
How many are 10? So you don't even have to have me finish that sentence. Good job. So we have 10 in each one of those frames. So then we could count by tens to fill up those 10 frames and then start by counting ones. Awesome. Here we go. So I'm going to go 10. Ah, oh, yep. I need a whole one. 10. Do we need this one? 10, 20. Yep, we need this one. 20, 10, 20. Now count by ones. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Don't fill up that last one. Don't do it. Don't fill up that last one. No, 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 because that would be we had 30. We don't. We have two groups of 10. One, two. And how many extra ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Nine. Wow. Let's look at these number sentences because you know that sentences, sentences can be made with words or numbers. Exactly. Let's look first. What are we going to be doing? Are we going to be making these numbers bigger or smaller? He tells you you're right. It's plus. So Mr. Gus the Plus, he is going to make things bigger. He makes it more. He makes it greater. He tells us how many things are in all. Absolutely. So let's figure this out. If I had six, and remember, we can even circle those pluses to remind ourselves that we are going bigger, okay? So if I had six, one, two, three, four, five, six apples, hmm, I'm taking six apples to the barn. And I'm going to have Veronica bring zero apples because I'm already bringing six. So if I have six apples and Veronica has zero apples, how many apples do we have all together? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I know. Six. Okay, now our next one is still, yes, it is. It is a plus. So we're going to make it bigger. We're going to make it more. We're going to make it greater. Absolutely. So here we go. I have two carrots to take to the barn for the horses. And Veronica's going to bring three carrots. Wow, they have apples and carrots today? They're happy little horses. That's what they are. Okay, so we have two carrots. And we're going to bring three more carrots. How many carrots do we have all together? Hmm. Count them all up. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Absolutely. So we have five. Wow, good job. We have one last thing to do. We're going to be counting. We don't have to count all the way up to those numbers, but we want to know what comes before and what comes after. Hmm. Before and after. Let's see. Our first, our number is 37. 37. So I probably can start counting at 30. Absolutely. So let's count from 30 until we get past 37. Are you ready? 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Huh. So wait, if I had 37, 37, I'm going to go 37. What comes after 37? 38. Absolutely. 38, let's count backwards. 38, 37, 36. Absolutely, good job. What about this one? Whoa, 84, woo! That is a big number, huge number. Let's think, 84, so let's start counting at 80. 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, I heard 84. And what comes after 84? 85. Absolutely. Make sure you're making an S and closing your gate. Absolutely. 85. And count backwards. 85. 84. 83. Absolutely. 83. 84. 85. Awesome job. Have a terrific Tuesday. And I think it's supposed to be nice in Pennsylvania. It's starting to poke through sunny, so have a wonderful day and make it terrific. Bye-bye, guys.